Well, hello everyone and welcome to Nancy's Magic Touch and DIYs. If this is your first time on my channel, a welcome. And if it's not, well, thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, I am going to share you how I created myself a headboard and some nightstand from my bedroom. Christmas is coming up and I needed some kind of an update and I have a rather small bedroom so I don't have the luxury to go buy one of those nice big fancy headboard for my bed. I just don't have the space. So I came up with the idea of creating myself a headboard wall and some pretty uh, unique night stand. You can see them behind me. They're right here. Check this out. Now how cool is that? So if you wanna see how I created these awesome nightstand, stick around, grab a nice warm cup of tea, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So I took everything out of my bedroom, and now I'm gonna go ahead and take the lamps out and remove those night tables. Now I'm using the stud finder to mark where my studs are. I went to Home Depot and bought two sheet of MDF board. This MDF is uh, pretty thin. I paid $17.14 for each board. I needed two. And I got the gentleman to cut these in six inch strips for me. So when I got home, they are ready to place on the wall. So the first thing I did is measure the middle of my board and marked it down. These are hit foot, eight foot long, sorry. And I also mark the middle of my window to make sure that I place these board dead center of my window. Now I'm using a nail gun to put these in place. I'm using a nickel for a spacing between each one of my boards. I use um, this tool to cut on uh, the bottom part of my board where my uh, plug um, is. Uh, I have no idea what this tool is called, but it works great, and does so that's what I use to. Uh, cut uh, the two board that needed to be cut. I went ahead and very lightly sanded um, all the uh, area where I put the nails just to smooth it out a little bit and then I'm going to fill it out with some uh, dry deck filler. Let it dry and then re-sand again before I paint. Now I'm giving uh, two good coats of one, two, three primer.
because the MDF is so thin I should have put the nails closer apart so now I'm just gonna go ahead and nail the boards that are uh, lifted a little bit While I was at Home Depot, I also picked up a really nice uh, trim. It has um, hangles on it, and I cut that to size. These were already pre-painted, so now I'm just going to put them in place with my nail gun as well. Now I'm going to use some caulking um, in the trim area to give it a really nice uh, finish. I'm going to uh, smooth this out uh, with my finger and then where the space is between my board I'm just going to use my utility knife and get rid of, of what's in the space that I created with my nickel. And now I'm applying two good coats of paint. I found these two mini shutters um, at the thrift store. I've had them for quite some time and I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do with them and I decided to use them in my bedroom. So. What I'm doing now is give these a really, really good wash. Now I'm taking all the hardware off so I can get these ready to paint. Now I'm using my spray gun with some chalk paint and I'm giving these three good coats of paint. I'm using the Rust-Oleum brand chalk paint in linen white. Now these are ready to be sanded. I'm using a sponge, a sanding sponge, and these are um, 260 grid uh, sand sponge. And I'm gonna go ahead and smooth the paint first, and then I'm going to distress the piece uh, with a little bit of a heavier um, sandpaper. Now time to put all the hardware back on to the shutters.
I'm putting some hanging hooks on the back of these shutters and uh, I'm going to use a tiny drill bit to pre-hole uh, the area where I'm going to put the uh, hanging hooks because I do not want to split the wood on my shutter. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now I'm going to go ahead and screw this uh, hanging hook in place. And as you will see, I am um, placing it sideways rather than up and down. The reason for that is because these um, shutters are going to be folded and they're going to be on an angle. And if I put them up and down, the hook won't catch. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Now I'm placing my shutter uh, in the angle that I want it and I want these um, shutters to stay in place so I'm going to nail with some very fine finishing nail uh, this uh, popsicle stick to hold it together. And now to make sure that both my shutters are at the exact same angle, I'm just going to simply put it on top of one another and repeat um, the with the popsicle stick and put that in place. I needed something round um, and big enough so I went in the garage and I found this a big uh, boiler pot that I use to do all my uh, heavy bottle boiling and I used a pine board um, and this is creating the top part of uh, my shutter uh, table so I'm gonna go ahead and take my jigsaw and cut this piece and I am going to repeat the processes twice. I'm just going to trace the first piece that I cut onto uh, the pine board and make two of these. Now placing this on top of my shutters, I'm going to measure to make sure that my board is center before I nail it down with my nail gun. Now I'm removing the popsicle sticks and the little finishing nails. I'm going to use some wood filler for these four nails that I put on top of my tables to make sure that they are not no noticeable. So I'm going to go ahead, fill that, let it dry and then sand it. I'm giving this table a really good wipe before I go ahead and apply some stain. Now I have a lot of stain on hand but I want to pick one that is very close to my cabinet in my room and this one is the closest that I could find. It's called Dragon Breath and I'm gonna go ahead and try this one 
um, on the bottom part of my table and take take it into the room uh, to make sure that it's the color that I like before I go any further. Now I don't think that this color could be any closer so I'm going to go ahead take these outside and finish the staining. Now I'm taking some uh, tape, some painter's tape, and I'm applying that on the back of my table so I will know um, where my uh, end, like edge of my table is. And also I put another one lower so I can mark the area where my screws on the wall needs to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Now I am going to carefully remove this and put it on my wall where I want my table to be. So now I know exactly where my screws need to be in order to set up my table. This is uh, so easy. I use this process all the time whenever I want to hang something on the wall. Oops, I forgot to give uh, my uh, piece a protector finish. So I'm using the bare uh, finish protector in the matte finish. I don't want no shine on these tables at all. So I'm going to go ahead and apply three coats of this protector on the top part of um, this table. And I'm not worried about the bottom part of the table. I'm going to leave as is. I am not going to put a protector on it. I went to Home Depot and bought a pack of uh, puck lights. They come three in a pack with a remote control and I am going to place them underneath my table on the inside uh, to create myself some lighting um, tables. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And here is the result. Um, how cute it is to have a remote control night table. I'm in love with this. I'm just in love with this.
So, um, here we go. These are the nightstand. Um, the remote control now, I wanna talk a little bit about it. Um, it's, um, you know, on, power on and off. But also you have uh, a dimmer, uh, more lights, less light. And you have a 10% um, lighting, a 40% lighting, 60% lighting, and 100% lighting. And you also have a timer. So 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, and 120 minutes. I get these at Home Depot. I think they are perfect. I am so excited. You can shut the shutters a little bit for less light, open them up more for more lights. And uh, <laughs> I'm in love with these table. I think you can see the excitement that I'm uh, <laughs> experimenting right now. I, this farmhouse look for my bedroom could not be any better, to my opinion. Now, I need your opinion. I want to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of these table and the wall as well. And if you liked it, please give me those big thumbs up. This really helps my channel to grow. And if you liked what you see and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, well, please hit that red button and that notification bell so you're not missing any more of my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching guys and until next time you have yourself a wonderful day.